I'm Paige, a third year student at the University of Cambridge. I study physical natural sciences and I'm specialising in astrophysics this year. This video documents a day in my life at the end of Michaelmas term. I think it captures my student lifestyle really well and also is very festive, so enjoy! I kick-started the day with an early morning run along the river. This is my way of keeping active whilst at uni. I like to run in the mornings because it gets me out of bed and to be honest I just don't have time later in the day. I'm not that great at running, my fitness and stamina are both quite bad but at least I'm putting in a good effort. The river is usually busy in the mornings with college crews going out on rowing outings. It's a good distraction whilst you're running along on cold winter's mornings. My runs are normally 20 to 30 minutes long, then I head back to my room, have lots of water and recover. I am always very pleased with myself though for actually doing exercise. A quick change of footwear is then necessary before heading down to the kitchen. I share the kitchen with 10 housemates and we each have a cupboard to keep all our stuff. For breakfast, I usually go for a bowl of cereal and a glass of orange juice. As you can see, the fridge is normally quite packed, it's always a bit of a squeeze fitting in 10 people's food. Usually, at least one of my friends gets up at the same time as me and has breakfast with me. This day was the exception and no one else was around sadly, but it is normally a very social household. Our kitchen also has motion sensor lights and so they did go off halfway through my breakfast but I couldn't be bothered to get up and turn them back on again. Peak laziness, I know. When I'd finished eating I went to wash up my bowl. These washing up gadgets are the best creation ever. A scourer that dispenses washing up liquid at the same time. What more could you want? After the excitement of washing up I usually fill up my water bottle for the day. By half eight it was time to get going so I went to my room to brush my teeth. Although I don't have an ensuite, I do have a sink in my room which is very handy. Then I needed to go have a shower but the bathroom was occupied so I spent five minutes or so just tidying up my room. It had got a bit messy over the previous few days and it was just stressing me out seeing it in that state. It's our own responsibility to keep our rooms tidy and clean. Eventually, the bathroom was free for me to use, so here I am with my basket of shower gels and shampoos and my towel. Not even joking, my warm shower is often the highlight of my day. One 10 minute shower later, I headed back to my room. I whipped out the hair dryer because I have such thick hair and it takes ages to dry naturally. To be honest, it takes ages to dry with a hair dryer too, which is not ideal when I've got limited time before lectures. With my blow dried hair, I went to go pick out some clothing for the day. Nothing too fancy, I'm a student who doesn't have much time to think out their outfits. More often than not, I go for jeans and a slightly tired looking t-shirt. This is the not so glamorous side of a student lifestyle. When I haven't had time to straighten my hair, I prefer to tie it back so it's out of my face. And of course I apply some lip balm which I carry around with me throughout the day. What an essential. At this point it was definitely time to open my blind and let some sunlight into the room. I have to climb on my desk to open my window every day because I'm too short. What a struggle! Here I'm packing my bag for the day, putting in the necessary lecture notes, my laptop, my water, my purse. I don't have time to come home between lectures and I'm often out of the house for the majority of the day so it's important that I don't forget anything. Once my bag is packed, I run around trying to find my coat, my shoes, my bike helmet, my bike keys, my bike light. There's lots to remember. I aim to leave the house about 15 minutes before my lecture is due to start. My first lecture of the day is always held at the Institute of Astronomy which I cycle out to. It's a slightly uphill cycle ride so I still maintain that it's good exercise. I arrived at the Institute of Astronomy a couple of minutes late for my lecture, but it's fine, I quickly locked my bike up and walked inside. Get that speed walk on. On arrival at the lecture theatre, my lecturer greeted me personally and offered me a mince pie. I definitely didn't deserve that after being three minutes late. The astro department is so friendly. This was the last lecture of the series on stellar structure and evolution. In these lectures, I prefer to sit and listen and focus on absorbing information rather than taking loads of notes, just because the lecturer supplies notes which are very comprehensive already. Fun fact, I always put my jumper on about two thirds of the way through the lecture every week. 
It seems I get cold at predictable times. When our first lecture is finished, we all head out into the department foyer for our coffee break. This is a daily thing arranged by the department and we can all grab tea, coffee and biscuits and have a quick chat. What usually happens is we spend too long drinking our coffees and hanging around the astro department and don't leave enough time to get to our next lecture. My second lecture of the day is held in the maths department which is about a five minute cycle from the Institute of Astronomy. I would honestly be lost without my bike. I use it multiple times a day to get between departments. Here I'm entering the central core of the CMS, which is the Centre for Mathematical Sciences. It is rather a busy hub throughout the day, filled with math students. My lecture theatre is down in the basement of the building. Astrophysics students like myself visit the maths department for a lecture course on the principles of quantum mechanics. For this lecture course, I take a lot of notes. The lecturer makes good use of the blackboard and I find it useful to jot down the derivations as he writes them. We are also supplied with online typed up notes for this course, but I find that they're very dense and hard to revise from. It probably goes without saying that this course is my most mathematically rigorous yet, but I'm also really enjoying it. The lecture lasted one hour and then I headed off to grab lunch. There's a cafe at the maths department where I often buy lunch. The food's good and it saves time cycling to and from my house. I opted for a chicken Caesar wrap on this day. Whilst I ate, I looked over my diary and made sure I remembered all the commitments I'd got coming up later in the day and in the week. I tried to keep my lunch break short, normally half an hour max, purely because I find I'm most productive during the middle of the day and it means I can take more of the evening off. I only had one more timetabled commitment for the day, which was a lecture at 2.30. This meant I had about two hours to get on with my own work. This is the maths department library, one of my favourite places to study. It's always so quiet and there's so much room to spread out your work. Here I'm reviewing some lecture notes from my Stellar Structure and Evolution course. This involved a lot of highlighting, annotating, making flashcards and googling things when I needed more clarification. This lecture course in particular contains a lot of new content that I haven't come across in my second or first years at uni, so it's been very necessary to put some extra time into it. Ten minutes before my third and final lecture was due to start, I headed back out to my bike. This course was on stellar dynamics and the structure of galaxies, and lectures are held at the Institute of Astronomy. Again, this lecture was the last in the series since it was the end of term, so it actually finished slightly early. I was now free to go home with all my contact hours finished for term. A short cycle ride later, which did feel a bit like cycling through a chiller, I arrived back in my room. I was actually quite tired at this point, and since I didn't have any pressing work to do, I decided to take a nap. Don't judge me guys, sometimes the student lifestyle is exhausting. I think getting up at the crack of dawn for an early morning run might also have had something to do with it. Anyways, I set my alarm for 5 o'clock. By 5.30 I was up, re-energised, ready to get going again. In the evening I was going to a Christmas formal with all my friends. The college runs these every year and they're a great time to get festive, but I needed to go to Sainsbury's first to buy some wine to go with my meal. While I was there, I also decided I might as well do my weekly grocery shop. Luckily, Sainsbury's is only just around the corner from college, so it was a quick trip. After my trip to Sainsbury's, I offloaded the food I'd bought into my fridge and the cupboard. Then it was a race to get ready for formal. Watch me do my makeup in record breaking time. Somehow, I needed to make myself look party ready. I straightened my hair, put on my velvet dress, and here's my attempt at looking glam. Christmas formal dinners are the most popular of the year. The tickets for them sell out in seconds. Everyone's in high spirits as it's the end of term. This starter was followed by a turkey dinner and then Christmas pudding for dessert. And then at the end of the meal, the head porter leads the whole hall in singing some Christmas songs. Each table is given their own line to sing in the 12 days of Christmas, and even the master and fellows of the college were up for joining in with the singing this year. The atmosphere was just so good. After dinner, the original plan was to go on a night out, so here we are in the queue to Cindy's, a club in Cambridge. 
However, the queue was long and clearly we weren't that committed to the night out. A group of us decided to leave the queue and just walk back. We stopped off at the Van of Life, a popular fast food van. Because obviously cheesy chips were necessary after having a three course Christmas meal. Looking back, I'm impressed by my appetite. I spent a while chatting to my friends in our kitchen before heading up to bed. Look, the time was past midnight. That's a wild enough night for me. Here I'm taking my makeup off and brushing my teeth. And that's the end of the day. Thank you for watching. Give the video a like if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram and have a good Christmas.